All right, hi there. Um, so I'm going to do a quick tutorial um, about how to do a uh, grenade launcher. So using Ultimate FPS, uh, this FPS weapon pack, which is a free pack. It has a number of weapons in it, um, which all of them look pretty good. And we're going to use this uh, grenade launcher. You see they've got a couple other nice weapons. Um, I'm also using um, Cartoon FF, FX Pack 3, um, just because they've got a couple different fireballs, and I'm just going to use a fireball so it's easier to see for the um, grenade. So, uh, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to go to uh, UFPS, Wizards, create item type and we are going to create a unit. Now this is going to put this in your item types folder. Um, I'm going to rename this to grenade tutorial. So you just click on here and you type in your new name. So I've already done it here. So it says A and, and the display name. I'm going to put grenade I've just typed in the description. Um, I don't have an icon. If you want to find out how to do the icons, just look at, at uh, maybe the bullet and look at this icon and see how they've set it up. And then you can do the same thing for your grenade. Next thing we want to do is go under UFPS, Wizards, Create Item, we're going to create a unit bank. So you're going to give this a name. I called it Grenade Launcher Tutorial. And I've called it A, and I put Grenade Launcher. I don't have an icon. You can give it a description. Inventory space is 1. Um, you're going to, um, this is going to be blank. So you're going to want to click this little circle, grab your grenade tutorial. This is your actual grenade, and then give it a capacity. You will see that the machine gun, they've got a capacity of 50. Um, pistol has a different capacity. I'm just going to leave mine at 10. I've got it. It is reload, reloadable. Um, you can also check off this uh, remove when depleted. Um, you can just read the information and look at the manual to see what all of this means. So on the advanced player, look under, so straight on the advanced player, so I, so I dragged in the advanced player from the prefabs folder. Let's see art, prefabs, players, so I just drag this advanced player into my scene. Under the inventory, um, so yours is going to be, this item records will be blank, so anything that you put in here in this item records is going to be, when you hit play, they're going to have these weapons, they're not going to have to pick them up anything that's in the item caps so like for instance there's a mace well when I start the game I'm not going to have a mace I have to actually go and pick it I have to find a pickup and get the mace so I'm going to add my grenade launcher and down here I'm going to add um, so when I added it up here, you'll see it's right here, but I'm, since they have bullets, I'm going to go ahead and add my grenade. And it's going to put a number of 100 on there, and that's, that's fine. Uh, down here on miscellaneous, you can do uh, reset on respawn. Uh, just look at the manual and see what some of this stuff uh, means. So I duplicated the revolver, so I just hit Control D to duplicate, and I 
called it five grenade launcher. Just give it a name. Scroll down here to the item. So under this item, you're going to want to drag in your grenade launcher. So if you're ever uh, confused, just look at some of these other ones. So you see machine guns got a unit bank, and now our grenade launcher has a unit bank. All right, the next thing I did is I under this JMO assets, um, I'm going to drag my fireball into the scene. Um, you're going to use a grenade or whatever it is that you have. Um, so mine so I took the fireball and I just resized it, made it the right size I want it. Um, I just made it a half. So I also added an audio source. I added in a sphere collider. And you'll see the sphere collider is you know, slightly larger I added a rigid body, I made the mass a half, uh, I think angular drag was already there, I left gravity on, um, I didn't change either one of these and I did not change my constraints because I don't care if it rolls around or whatever, it's a, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Um, I added the, so if you go under add component, scripts, it's um, uh, VP item identifier. So I added the item identifier script, and I added in my grenade tutorial. So that was the item that that was the unit item that we made. So I've got that on here, um, and then I created this um, script. So let me open it up. Hold on. All right, so my script, I called it explode me. Um, I added a public game object. This is my explosion prefab. I added a public float, time to explode. I just made it three. Uh, public float projectile speed, I made it 25. That way I'm not putting 2,500. I added a multiplier, uh, 100, which is public got a link to the um, so private uh, VP underscore timer dot handle and I'm calling this M timer equals new VP underscore timer dot handle um, uh, the people over at uh, ultimate FPS Cal actually uh, said that I should add this in so I've got that here um, I've got public string. Um, so this is just a, um, this is like if you shoot at an enemy, anything you put in here, that's what the grenade is going to stick to it. So like if you shot a soldier and they stuck to it and then they ran to all the other soldiers and they would explode. Um, this one right here is explode on contact. So anything that whatever you have tagged here, as soon as it the grenade hits it, it's going to automatically explode. So in our start function, we've got our add force forward. Here's our projectile speed. Um, this should be times the speed multiplier. And then type this the way I have it. Um, time to explode, three. Um, this is UFPS stuff. Anything you have in here, um, was, I've got another function for that. So the prefab explode, um, basically we're instantiating our free prefab position and rotation, and then we're going to destroy whatever this object is attached to. And you can just type the rest of this where we've got Here's our collider. If it equals the tag to stick to, then we're going to set the parent. We're going to change the position, and we're going to destroy the rigid body. Um, if it is the explode on contact one, which is this one, then we're going to cancel our timer, this timer, and we're going to explode. 
So we're going to do this. Alright, so here for the explosion prefab, I set the cube explosion. So um, they've got the explosion, explosion big, and they also have a grenade explosion. So whichever one you want to use, I've got my time to explode is 5. Um, so this is after you launch it, how long will it take for it to explode? Um, this is really a thousand, so that's how fast it goes. Here's my trigger, it's my enemy. Um, set these to whatever you need. Um, and you're going to want to um, save this as a prefab. So I have it in my uh, projectiles. So it's this fireball prefab. Um, then over here under a grenade launcher, under the prefab, I am going to just drag it in. So I'm going to put it right there. Alright, in the interest of time, I'm, I'm skipping around a little bit. So, um, my weapons, um, the AT4, I actually changed the import to 0.2. under UFPS base content art weapons source basic arms I've got my basic arms this material I set up this material to be exactly the same as um, uh, one of the arm materials uh, for instance under um, under uh, weapons materials arm so I copied these and I set that up under my basic arm so it's similar so this color you see it's off a little bit it's slightly different so you have to fix that alright then I drag this basic arms into the scene uh, which is what this I, I renamed it to grenade launcher tutorial I made a prefab out of it I dragged my AT4, the AT4 onto it changed the positioning you can see how I kind of uh, rearranged it um, to get the hands to move around you're just gonna it's a skeleton it's a um, it's a rig so you just got to edit these rotate them position them I actually move the shoulder forward you, you can move you just go down through this and rotate each piece um, so for instance if I rotated this see how the fingers move so you're gonna set that up the way you want um, you need to make sure that these arms actually have an animation on them. So, right here. You need to remove this. Uh, if you keep it on it, it's going to uh, reset your all the settings that you just did for here. Alright, now after you uh, make all the changes, apply it, go into rendering, and you're going to drag your prefab right here into the weapon prefab. Alright, and then you're going to apply your changes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit play. So typically when we hit play, so if I hit Q, my weapon's going to come up. So normally what you're going to do is you're actually going to change your position springs to adjust all this stuff, similar that we did for, I mean, any of the weapons. Um, also, if you need to change the zoom state, so like when you right click, but for me, this looks just fine for a grenade launcher. Um, so when we launch it, it's going to blow up. Um, if I launch it over here, you see it rolls around on the ground. And then over here, I've got this cube set up, so if it hits the cube, it sticks to the cube, and then it explodes. Um, so you see it works, uses gravity, it's going to go a certain distance, see, so it exploded after a certain amount of time. Um, these squares, they'll actually explode on contact, but it'll actually explode as well because, because of the force. Um, so that's it. And you'll see when I, I died, now I still have it. And the reason I still have it is because it is in my inventory.